Hello my sweets, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Keisha. Welcome and thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'll be showing you how I duped three Kirkland's Valentine decor pieces using mainly Dollar Tree items. All right, let's get to it. A list of the supplies I used is in the description box below. I began with this sign from Dollar Tree and cut it down to 8 and 7 eighths inches. Then I removed the paper from the sign. Next I cut a piece of foam core to match the top piece that is already on the sign. Then I used Waverly chalk paint in white to paint all the pieces and set them aside to dry. Here I have the X's and O's to fill in the board. The O's are actually cues that I cut and sanded to be O's if you don't have O's like I did. I'll be painting the X's with Waverly chalk paint and silver lining, the heart which came from another Dollar Tree sign in crimson, and the O's in ballet slipper. As an alternative, you can also use stencils, vinyl cutouts, or stickers in place of the wooden letters. Next, I used Waverly Wax and Antique and a small chip-like brush to give the top and bottom pieces of the sign a wood look to match the inspiration piece. Once the wax was dry, I marked the tic-tac-toe segments. Mine measured approximately 2 and 5 8 inches squared. Next, using the photo from my phone, I marked out the additional lines to make the ticking stripes. Then I used Waverly chalk paint in silver lining and a fine paintbrush to fill in the stripes. Here's a close-up of what the board looks like. It's not perfect, but that's what I love about it. Next, I glued down the bottom piece of the board and then the X's and O's and the heart. And this piece is complete. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison. If you had to buy all of the supplies except for paint, mine would cost $7. Theirs was $50 at the time of filming this video. I began this project by removing the twine from the crafter square arrow and trimming and sanding down what will be the new roof line. Then I trimmed two of these craft sticks down to fit the roof line to give it some dimension. Next, using Waverly chalk paint in ivory, I painted the house and the roof pieces. Once the paint was dry, I came in with Waverly wax in antique and painted the roof pieces, then set them aside to dry. Next, I went to canva.com and chose poster, then typed love lives here. I used Roman New Times font and font size was 42 and adjusted the line height to 1.2. Then I flipped the image before printing it out. The Canva details are also listed in the description box below. I cut the words from the larger piece of paper and set it aside. Next I added the window and the door details to the house and I used a small wooden heart from my stash to finish the door. I used Waverly chalk paint in crimson to paint the door and the two hearts. I did two coats on each, drying between coats. Then I came in with Waverly wax and antique and a fine paintbrush to fill in the windows. I came back to the Love Lives Hair printout and after choosing my placement, I taped it into place. Next, I took a blunt tool and rubbed it all over the printout, making sure it was transferring along the way. Once I was satisfied with the transfer, I removed the printout and outlined the words with an ultra fine point sharpie in black. 
Then I filled in the letters with Waverly Wax and Antique. Next I went and lined the right and bottom side of each window opening with the same antique wax to give them some dimension. Now it's time to assemble. First I glued the roof pieces into place. To make it stand, I glued two tumbling tower pieces together end to end, then glued those to the bottom back of the house. I later added another set of blocks for a little more weight. Next I wrapped a 7 inch piece of floral wire around a skewer making sure to leave about half an inch on each end. I glued a heart on each straight end of the wire. Then I folded the wire into a V shape and secured it to the roof of the house. And this project is complete. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. If you had to buy all of the supplies except the paint, mine would cost $4. Theirs is $13 at the time of filming this video. I began this project with one of these shadow box frames. Dollar Tree has a couple of different sizes and I'll be using the one that measures 5 inches by 5 inches. I carefully deconstructed the frame by pushing out the back, removing as much paper as possible, and making sure to save the riser that the telescope was mounted on. Next I painted the entire frame with Waverly chalk paint and ink and set it aside to dry. I traced the back of the frame two times on a piece of poster board and cut them out. Next I glued one piece of the poster board to the back of the frame where I removed the paper then set it aside to dry. I painted the other square with Waverly chalk paint in crimson. I ended up doing three coats, drying between each coat. I printed the actual sign from the Kirkland's website and sized it on my printer to suit my needs. You can see that it took me a couple of tries, but I finally got it. As an alternative, you can freehand the heart and writing, use vinyl cutouts, or use stickers and stencils to achieve a similar look. After cutting out the heart, I used a number two pencil to shade the back to prepare to transfer it. Next I traced and cut the heart with the wording on it from the red painted poster board. Then I taped the heart with the wording on it over the red painted heart to transfer the lettering. I traced over the lettering, checking every so often to make sure it was transferring nicely. Then I removed the heart with the wording on it. I tried a couple of different methods to fill this one in. I'd recommend a paint pen if possible, as I found I was a little shaky while trying to paint this one in. My regular Sharpie paint pen was out, but this one from Dollar Tree did nicely on the My Sunshine portion of the sign. I wanted to make the heart a little more sturdy, so I traced it onto foam core board and cut it out. An alternative is to use the wood heart cutout, or you can skip this step altogether. I glued the heart to the foam board and set it aside to dry. Now it's time to assemble. First I glued the riser piece to the center of the back piece. Next I glued the back piece into the frame. Then I glued the heart onto the riser and centered it as best I could. And this project is done. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. If you had to buy all of the supplies except the paint, mine would cost $3. Theirs was $10 at the time of filming this video. Here's another look at today's projects. I love how they all turned out, but my favorite is the house. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and tell me which project was your favorite in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching and remember, Love, inspire, create. See you next time.